Hello mga students, welcome sa ating session. And today we will be talking about the statement of cash flows in this particular video lecture. Okay, now what are we going to learn? Ano yung mga kailangan ninyong alamin? O ano yung mga matututunan ninyo sa video lecture na ito? I prepared here some learning objectives for us to follow. Okay, first, we will have to identify the importance Okay, state the significance of the information presented in the statement of cash flows. Okay, and then we will classify the cash flow activities according to these three activity types. Yung operating, yung investing, and the financing activities. In fact, in my basic accounting video lectures, sa aking basic accounting playlist, there is an item, there is a video lecture there wherein I initially, no, for the for a start, no, I have defined operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. But for the sake of this session, in our intermediate accounting series, let me define it to you. Okay? Para separate ano, at detailed yung ating discussion. Dito sa mga activity types na ito. Okay? And then, we will be preparing a statement of cash flows using the direct method and then also using the indirect method. Although, I may assume ano, that siguro pag-usapan natin ito on a separate video lecture para hindi ganun kahaba itong ating session sa statement of cash flows. So siguro ano, this will be a part 1 series, uh, part 1 of the statement of cash flow series and for this one ano, this will be our part 2. Okay? And we will compute the cash effects of a wide variety of transactions. Okay? So ito yung mga susubukan natin, ito yung target na objectives natin for this topic. Okay? Now, Let's proceed to the significance of the statement of cash flows. Bakit ba mahalaga itong isang financial statement na ito? Una, para matulungan natin yung mga gagamit ng financial statements for the users to assess the ability of the company to remain solvent. Remember yung tinatawag natin na solvency which is also a different item from liquidity. Papaano ba? Ano bang difference ng liquidity sa solvency? But of course, our target here you know, is for users to assess the ability of the company to remain solvent. Pag sinabi nating solvent in this case, no, para mabayaran yung mga expenses ng company, mabayaran yung mga utang, okay? provide returns to investors and creditors. We are talking about cash flow here kinakailangan natin alamin yung galaw ng pera, pagpasok at paglabas ng pera. And normally, ang labas at pasok or yung paglabas ng pera is either pagbayad ng mga sub, ano no, expenses, iba-ibang klaseng expenses yan, common na ginagamit ko palagi ano, ay pambayad ng ano, utilities, no? kuryente, tubig, mga communications, no? o pambayad utang, okay? And then to provide returns to investors and creditors. Okay. Another one, para maintindihan ng mga users kung paano nagje-generate ng cash and cash equivalent yung company. Ano ba ang sources nitong cash na ito? Saan ba nanggagaling ito? Okay? O, please take note ha. We are not only talking about cash, pero yung FSLI na Cash and cash equivalent. Sir, ano yung FSLI? Financial statement line items. Kasi pag nagpe-prepare tayo ng FS, cash and cash equivalent, hindi naman sila magkahiwalay. Kaya sa isang FSLI, isang line item in your financial statements. Okay, what else? Eto, pag ginamit daw natin yung statement of cash flow together with the other FS, with the rest of your financial statements, it will enable the users, no? makakatulong ito sa mga users 
i-evaluate yung changes sa net assets and its financial structure. Changes in net assets. Assets minus liabilities, di ba, is our net asset. Okay? So, unang bullet or first item here. The statement of financial position provides the cash balance but does not provide information on what happened during the period. O correct, no? Alam dapat ninyo yan. Kasi sa balance sheet natin, which is your statement of financial position, makikita natin doon, ending balance ng cash. Pero ending balance lang yon. Hindi nito pinoprovide yung information ano yung nangyari sa aking pera from the beginning of the year which is our comparative period na papiyok pa si sir ano papunta sa susunod na taon no by the end of the year okay but statement of cash flow does kasi dito naka-identify saan galing ano ang napuntahan ng ating kaperahan okay so that that that's ano no the purpose of your statement of cash flows The statement of comprehensive income, etong pangalawang malit na square dito, provides information about income and expenses. Ah, pinag-usapan natin dito SCI ha, statement of comprehensive income. Kung wala tayong ano no item of comprehensive income, your statement of profit or loss or the statement of financial performance also becomes your statement of comprehensive income. Kasi wala line item ng ano no. Walang available info ng comprehensive income, other comprehensive income. But when it does, of course, no, it also contains your component of OCI. Okay. O, ang sinasabi dito, si SCI daw nagpo-provide ng info about income and expenses, pero hindi ito nagpo-provide ng information about how much of your income results in cash inflow and cash outflow. Kasi tandaan po ninyo, We are following what accrual basis of accounting. So, may mismatch, di ba? Hindi sila nagtutugma. Kasi when we are talking of ano no, cash flow, pag may labas at pasok na pera, cash basis tayo dito, no? Parang taxation. Okay? So, when used in conjunction with this financial statements, so malaking bagay ito. Okay? Oh. Cash flow activities naman tayo. Now, for the purpose of the statement of cash flows, at sa ngayon, ano, umpisa ngayon, pag sinabi kong SCF, we are talking of statement of cash flows. Ang haba kasi, di ba, minsan basahin. No? So, minsan, oh, gagamitin ko yung uh, acronym na SCF, I am talking about statement of cash flows. Okay? When we are talking of a cash flow activity, It is a transaction that results either in inflow or outflow of cash and cash equivalents. Tandaan po ninyo yan. Okay? O cash flow activity, it doesn't matter inflow or outflow. Basta may movement yung ating cash and cash equivalent that is a cash flow activity. It may either be a conversion of cash into cash equivalents and vice versa. Ah, sorry. Sorry ah. Tuloy-tuloy ang aking basa. Ito pala, please take note. No? Pag sinabi natin na conversion of cash into cash equivalents or vice versa, kabalik taran, conversion ng cash equivalent into cash, hindi po yan cash flow activity. Ha? O, exception po natin yan. O, pag sinabi natin cash flow activity, any transaction that results in outflow or inflow of cash and cash equivalent. Pero conversion of cash into cash equivalent or vice versa, hindi po natin yan kinukonsider as a cash flow activity. Okay? O interest received on cash equivalent instrument, on the other hand, is a cash flow activity. Later on, ano, identify natin itong mga ito. O how about presentation of a statement of cash flows? O paano ito? Later on, as I will be presenting it to you at bibigyan ko din kayo ng proforma entry or proforma statement of cash flow, 
makikita po ninyo doon na yung ating cash flow kinakategorize natin doon sa tatlong activity types. Operating, investing, and financing. Okay? Classification by activity provides information that allows what? Ano ang tinutulong ng pagka-classify ng mga activities according to operating, investing, and financing activities? Okay? It allows the users to assess the impact of those activities on the company's financial position and the amount of its cash and cash equivalents. Okay? O, tinutulungan daw nito, tagalugin ko ha, o, tinutulungan nito yung mga gagamit ng FS, i-assess yung impact. Kung baga, ma-assess ma yung effect ng mga activities na yon sa balance sheet. Okay? At yung amount ng cash and cash equivalent. Okay? O, makikita po ninyo, dito yung ating general condensed format. Pina iksi. Okay, kinondense, no? Cash flows from operating activities, investing activities and financing activities. Lagi po natin 'yan pinaghihiwalay. Okay? And then makikita po natin we have the pag clina, pag ano na no, sinummarize na natin itong tatlong activity types. Makikita po natin yung net increase or decrease ng cash and cash equivalents. Okay, okay. And then, uh, compare natin sa beginning balance ng cash and cash equivalent. Of, of course, kung add or minus man yung net effect na yun, we will get the ending balance. So para ang sinasabi nito, uh, kinaklasify natin yung operating, investing, and financing activity cash flows. And then, kung magkano man yan, net increase man yan or net decrease, dagdag bawas natin yan doon sa beginning balance, makukuha na natin yung ending balance. So dito, makikita talaga natin yung movement ng cash and cash equivalent na hindi po natin makikita sa balance sheet. Kasi yung balance sheet, ang makikita mo lang na balance doon ay yung ending balance. Eto na. Okay? Sa income sa ano statement of comprehensive income hindi rin natin yun makikita hindi natin malalaman yung cash outflow or inflow no kasi accrual basis tayo doon so eto sa ating statement of cash flow eto yung magpo-provide ng information about that okay so i hope maliwanag po ito now if you have any questions ganito if you are my actual student no you may comment the question on the main platform that we are using. Okay, kasi may tendency recently, no, because sobrang busy ko, hindi ko na napapansin masyado yung mga tanong ng mga nasa comment section. Ginagamit ko na lang ito more of for attendance to ensure that my actual students are ano no, really, at, uh, really studying the materials. But if you are not my student and you are utilizing my video lectures, maraming salamat. I'll try to be as responsive as before, no? But I cannot promise you, no, na marereplyan kita. Okay? So if you are my actual students, dun tayo sa main platform. Okay? For attendance purposes na lang yung ating comment section. Okay? Now, dito, no, um, ipapakita ko sa inyo later on. Uh, this will be a separate video lecture na lamang po no? about the operating activities, about the investing activities, and then the financing activities. Okay, and then discussion on interest and dividends. And then, what else? Yung taxes on income. And last item, yung foreign currency cash flow. Before we talk about yung direct and indirect method. But for now, let us end this session first. No? para meron tayong maiksing recording lamang. Okay? I will, as what I am doing in the past, no? what, as what I have been doing in the past, may, uh, ini, ano, no? pinapaiksi ko yung mga video lectures para kumbaga sa pagkain, nangunguya natin ito at hindi tayo nabubulunan. Okay? Para na-absorb din po ninyo ito at pwede ninyong balikan. Okay? Okay, so yun muna. Hanggang dito muna tayo. Maraming salamat.
if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, para at least ma-assist ko po kayo. I will see you on the next video lecture. Bye-bye.